All right, welcome back. So in our last video, we talked about the job description and the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis that help you set up for success to be that successful coach, that job description of the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I talked about at the very end, what kind of time commitment are you looking at? And I'm gonna come in here and talk a little bit more about that. So one of the things that I tell people all the time is that you can do this as a full-time job, working part-time hours, or you can literally do this part-time while working a full-time job as well. Your, your hours, your business, you are the boss, you are the CEO, you decide how fast do I want to run? Do I want to just be able to make a little bit of extra money each week? Do I want to cover my Shakeology and cover my supplements every month? Or do I want to bring in some extra money to help cover bills, help cover the mortgage, maybe buy some extra things for the kids, some clothes, put it away for vacation, put it away for savings. You get to decide what you want to do and you get to decide how fast you want to move. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. I will say that from the beginning. You can't come in here and make thousands of dollars from the beginning. That's not how this works. This is a business that's about building trust, building relationships, being that kind of person that is making a difference in other people's lives each and every day. You can get started by helping your warm market right away with just a little bit of time by just reaching out to friends, being kind, loving, and sharing some and inviting them to come along on your journey with you. So can you make money from the beginning? Absolutely. But you're not going to be making thousands within weeks. It's just not that possible. But with consistent time and consistent effort on your job and the things you're doing, that hard work and that hustle that you're putting in every day and being precise and focused and intentional with the time you're putting towards your business, you can make a very fruitful business. So let's talk time commitment. What does that mean? When I worked full time, I was able to focus in on my own journey in the morning. I did my own morning routine. I got my mind and my heart and my body in the right place. A little bit, I was able to check in with messages and stuff depending on the time and how the kids were going about their morning and did I get up at five or did I get up at 5.30 based on whatever I needed to do. During the day, I didn't work a typical eight to five with a lunch break hour job. I was on the go and did a lot of outreach in the community, which meant that sometimes I got an hour and a half break, sometimes I got a 15 minute break, sometimes I didn't get a break at all and I was literally eating in my car. But I found that I, str or I stressed on finding the time to make sure that I could put in 10, 20 minutes here or there in 10 minute pockets of time. If I had more time during the day, I would do that. If I was sitting there eating, I would take a little break and then go to the restroom and maybe do about a 10, 20 minute pocket of um, some solid work to get a couple things marked off my list and to reach out to a couple people. And then I would come home after my day, I'd get the kids settled, we'd do dinner, we'd get them to their activities, and then I would jump into my business. And my husband was amazing. I was able to talk to him. He saw what was possible and he took over at a certain point to make sure that he either did final pickups or made sure that the kids got final food or whatever so that they could get their homework done and I have older kids so that made a big difference and and but they weren't always older my youngest when I got started let's see I am he is currently 12 and I started five years ago he was seven years old so it wasn't always this way and I just made sure that once the kids got to bed then I was able to do my own work on my on my business when you do it, you have a list of things you can go through. So you can work through, and I've got systems that can show you how to get a power hour done in 30 minutes. And the more you work through the cycles of your power hour, the more you're going to touch people's lives. So maybe today it's been a really rough day and you aren't able to get everything in. And so you get just the bare minimums done to move your business forward. But tomorrow's a better day and maybe you have more time and you can do a couple cycles of them as well. It all based on what you want to do. I now stay at home. I retired from my job. I do my job during the day. So I will do a few things in the evening for my, for my crew and for my team. But for the most part, I try to take the evenings off. I am being very diligent about focusing on finding the time for my family and balancing the time with my business. Because to me, both are very critical. And if I don't save my energy and conserve my energy and focus on the things that are the most important to me, 
yes, the business will always be there, but then there's no purpose to do the business because the business is for my family and for their dreams and for their future. So they have to work hand in hand. So time commitment, it can be as much or as little as you need to. You just want to make sure that you find at least five to six days a week where you're putting in an hour of two, an hour or two of time to get your business going on a consistent level. So sometimes that might mean that maybe you put in a little bit more time on the weekends if you're working during the week. I oftentimes put in time during the weekend while my family is sleeping. I just know that getting up earlier for me to get my stuff done so that I can spend more time on them makes a big difference. So again, power hours, you can do it in 10 minute blocks, six times a day. You could do it in six or uh, 10 blocks of six minutes a day. You could do, you could do, um, four 15 minute blocks you can do I mean you can break it up however you want I don't know math is like swirling in my brain right now but that's the beauty of it you fit it in when you can your business works around your life your life doesn't work around your business and that is the beauty of this job so comment below with whatever questions you have start thinking about how would you fit this in your and your day and share with your coach below Tag them when you're done watching this video and they will tag you in the next one so you can get ready and get going and see what the next thing is, all right? Talk to you guys soon.